performer is the founder of DC's Beltway Poetry. Yeah! You've seen her in Button Poetry and Everyday Feminism, and you've read her work in Right Bloody Press, Beltway yes. Press, and Beltway Poetry Quarterly. Please welcome to the stage Sarah D. Lawson. Tell us what supporting women in shelters means to you. Sure, so I am a social worker. I largely work with women and girls um, who've experienced sexual violence, and there's a lot of overlap with that community, so I'm really um, honored to be here tonight supporting broad supporting women in shelters. Great, thank you so much. Original poems. Can you tell us why you selected these ones? Sure. So the first one um, is really a resiliency um, reclamation-based poem. Um, it's about street harassment, actually, um, which you know is something that a lot of women experience. But it really is sort of a reclamation piece. And then the second one, I've been thinking a lot about legacy of powerful women, and it's about my mom. So. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Deals. which is that I printed out my poems and then got here and realized the entire middle of the poem was not there. So I'm reading off my poem for the first one. Um, and as I mentioned, this poem is about, um, you know, street harassment, just as kind of a warning. <laughs> the reunion of my body to spring is my favorite time of year. I drink the newly orange trees, sip the clouds from the sky in the winter from my bones, my head bones, soundtrack the whole world Beyonce. And I'm a little too in love with this gift of warm air, the way it kisses my naked shoulders. But I am femme, so my celebration cannot come without a cocked head, without unwanted comment, or a man on the corner who tells me exactly what he would do to my body if I let him. And it is not even 9 a.m., barely the beginning of spring, but I am reminded that this is the genesis of what good weather brings. Ass and hips no longer buried under winter coats once again become the street corner's auction. Every curve is barter in the mouth of a stranger who does not care about our names, but asks anyway. We cannot simply be the sidewalk's lone tulip blooming from concrete, beautiful and untouched, it must be plucked down to our dirt because toxic masculinity dictates that we have no choice over who lays claim to us, over our own mouths which are told to curl into a smile again and again. And maybe this wouldn't bother me so much if each time wasn't a reminder that so many of us carry these stories, where we are never considered to be more than just a silhouette. Maybe it wouldn't drive me crazy if this didn't happen so often when we're just trying to get on the bus or to the gym, or to work. Maybe we were just excited to feel, feel fly walking down the street and didn't need anybody to say dick about it. Mm. Maybe I wouldn't choke down, my, choke down every comeback and keep walking if the strong femmes in my life hadn't taught me it is not worth my precious breath. Still, we all deserve the freedom to be our own parades to know we are beautiful without a stranger on the street telling us so. Woo! Woo! 